Okay, you should see now the presentation uh, on the status uh, on the reconstruction of the Danuvina Alacris and the possibilities of uh, participation. Um, now I'm giving you an overview of what we have uh, accomplished so far. In June, um, before the official uh, start of the project in June uh, of July 1st, our work began. A boat builder has to be found quickly and we needed uh, wood quickly all at short time. Um, I want to emphasize this was these were very um, 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 negative uh, conditions because you know the pandemic uh, situation um, in which we are started our activities uh, with um, limited uh, possibilities of broad impact something the project is actually what uh, the, the project actually wants. Um, with the new boat builder, Andreas Kronau, uh, I think he is present uh, among us now. We are now in the process of building the new Roman boat, the Danovina Alacris, as close as possible to the, hand, uh, to the handicraft conditions of the Roman period. Um, with the help of, one moment, yes, with the help of uh, professional support, we are able to sec select the trees we needed already in mid-July, um, the spruce was felled immediately, um, which uh, was to be used for the parts of the boat that have not been handed down. The mast, the spar for the yard, the latin sail, the spread sail, and so forth. By the end of the month, the spruce had been felled and then a week later, the spruce was cut it with modern equipment. I would like I would like to take the opportunity to comment on the extent to which modern equipment was used. The use of modern equipment is dictated by the time, the money lim limits, uh, the number of staff, and the safety, especially the safety at work. We do not have the legion at our uh, disposal that on the basis of the employment contract could go into the forest and to cut down and saw down trees in an uncontrolled manner. Uh, I mean, not controlling authorities as we, um, uh, the conditions um, uh, which we have nowadays. We work with volunteers, students, uh, um, and the support of course of uh, professional um, professionals, and thus in a way that is in uh, the line with the budget and time and current work safety regulations. I have to emphasize nobody wants to get injured here and thus miss the positive um, uh, effect of the project uh, the project wants to achieve. Nevertheless, um, the spruce trunks of uh, up to 19 meters were piled up finally under the aegis of our boat builder to try properly. We also ordered 44 spruce squared timbers from which, we, from which our oars will be made. These squared timbers had a dimension of um, uh, uh, 10 centimeters per uh, five meters. And as it turned out later, were not always completely straight or completely dry because the squared timbers uh, rotated around their core during the drying process. Anyway, we have now a wide variety of oars. Some are uh, 4.10 meters, some 4.70 meters, and 4.40 meters. <clears throat> One moment, we have a slide. Uh, you can see it, um, some of these. Um, or the shape is like those which are preserved in Valkenburg and Niedam. The letter is not Roman, um, as uh, Dr. Veski will tell us later. Um, the oars are, of course, of, 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 of course, very important um, in, a boat, in a boat primarily driven by muscle, muscle power. Unfortunately, they are not preserved in mines, as uh, we heard earlier on uh, from. Uh, this gives me uh, the opportunity to give an overview on the principles of future uh, scientific approaches, which with respect to the tests of two boats categories. 
the older FAN we already built and uh, the Danovina Alacris, which we are about to build. It should um, have become clear uh, that not everything on the, uh, on the boats has been preserved. We have just heard that uh, even the existing foundations of our reconstructions are based on two wrecks of about um, the remaining uh, 18 meters. One beginning with the, with, with the stern in mines and one with begin, beginning with um, the pro, the, so, the uh, aforementioned wrecks uh, one and uh, five. But both, both wrecks are from different ships. You have seen it, and the reconstruction uh, Dr. Bokus uh, told us before about, uh, which uh, uh, Dr. Bokus uh, told us before. <clears throat> One of the wrecks was original much longer before it was lifted, but um, uh, it is not preserved anymore. Therefore, the preserved my, a, a base of the mines wrecks led to different reconstruction possibilities, which in the past have led to fierce disputes. Um, Dr. Bokus told us about that. Contrary to that, the re reconstruction of the FAN come on, um, was based on a nearly 100% preserved length of uh, rack number two of Oberstim. Here you can see it. This is the rack number two. Furthermore, <clears throat> We have uh, to derive other boat elements, roughly speaking, beyond the gunwale, which did not exist even in the case of our uh, older boat, the FAN. Um, we have to derive the, these elements from uh, other par parallel finds. The next lecture will talk uh, about what we have um, available for this. Dr. Wesky has advised us before and hopefully will continue to do uh, this. Uh, in the future. Now coming to the test. For the test, it's, uh, is it, it is important for me that uh, the parameters of both bo boats are similar or if possible, um, the same uh, or if possible, the same in those parts that have not preserved so that the compar comparative, uh, comparative tests can be based on them. These tests will then be carried out for rowing, sailing, and painting, supported and accompanied by the chairs of fluid mechanics, sport medicine on one part, as well as by the chair of uh, organic che chemistry and the Academy of Arts in Stuttgart and the psychology of perception on the other part for the painting uh, to make sure. The tests on the FAN, partly already supported by uh, third party funds, the German BMBF, have been running for several years and will hopefully uh, be announced in a publication towards the end of the year or the beginning of the next year. Both of the uh, colleagues speaking here are part of the publication, as are many of the audience as far as ca I can see. As in this project, it is intended to demonstrate, in addition to uh, many individual results, that science and public interest and effectiveness do not ha uh, have to have opposing interests. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I've already said this, it is exciting, uh, an exciting challenge. But much more exciting is the idea that we, are, uh, that we can uh, test both ship ships Numerical texts, tests, numerical tests, uh, I mean tests on computer, are already underway at the chair of fluid mechanics, which promises to provide the best possible packing of the goods that have to be uh, have, have not been preserved and are to be added to, and the flow and the wind tunnels of this institute are also available to us. Ultimately, this may approximately um, emulate the experience of many ge generations of boat builders who have passed on their trade from father to son, which ultimately um, uh, would be cost effective for us now. If we can uh, now use the same parameters to supplement the parts of the ships that have, have not been preserved in a historical, plausible, and correct way, 
we have a secure basis for a comparison of the two ships if we can, if we can still put together a homogeneous crew. We then intend to test the maneuver, maneuverability of uh, the two boat types uh, with alternative oars. I uh, um, told you about the different lengths we already have uh, produced. And uh, we can test um, the maneuver, maneuverability um, um, with the different sails with authentic material, linen wool. Um, as, uh, as I think they are the most plausible uh, uh, material. And the same uh, sail surface, uh, which were used as auxiliary sails, so much uh, seems clear um, uh, as uh, far as I can um, uh, evaluate the discussion. Um, you, see, you see here an, an example uh, um, of the tests, uh, resu test results uh, we, we did uh, with the um, FAM. These tests include a square sail, which is the most frequently used in the case of sailing, the less frequently used sprit sail, and in one or, or two uncertain cases for the time of the two boats also used the Latin uh, sail. Uh, one uh, perhaps one example is perhaps of, uh, of, the, uh, of the early Byzantine uh, time uh, from Calendaris. Uh, one other example will uh, appear in the lecture of uh, Dr. Veski. Um, this um, uh, last example, almost the um, um, most unlikely ex um, 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 test uh, alternative, the Latin sail, um, seems attractive uh, for, uh, to me, especially in order to catch uh, the unsteady wind conditions in the uh, inland optim optimally. Here the square sail and the spread sail as examples. Uh, in the old boat uh, in the FAM. We are also experimenting in a completely different field. <clears throat> in the case of the FAM, we used antique encausting painting for the first time. Um, we know that the so-called naves picte, according to the most plausible text reconstruction in Vigetius, um, that this Navis Picti had uh, or could have painting. We know that this was um, then, this kind of painting was then uh, encaustic as Pliny the Elder reports. We also know a little about the um, execution of the uh, exhausting, uh, encaustic, exhausting, encaustic uh, painting and have some information about the ingredients. During the first uh, painting of our FAN, the older boat, we worked with resin uh, under, the expert, under expert guidance, which is not handed down uh, actually by ancient authors. Resin is not attested. Here you can see the first version. Despite extensive empirical tests in advance, we are always uh, we, we were always confronted um, we were always confronted with the difficulty that the colors melted already at outside temperatures below 30 degrees centigrade, which is neither satisfactory to us today nor according to Pliny was the case in antiquity because according to Pliny, the colors um, the colors were wind, water, and heat resistant. Um, for some time now, um, the FAU's organic chemistry department has been testing under the direction of uh, Markus Speck, who is also present here, um, on a better historical, even more ver verifiable version of encaustic uh, of encaustics supported by the State Academy uh, of Fine Arts in Stuttgart, Professor Kweke and Dr. Schmedeker, 
Uh, and we have also uh, support of the perceptual psychologist, um, Klaus Christian Carbon uh, of Bamberg, who is evaluating the combinability of the different impact intentions attested in uh, ancient source, sources. The empirical tests are continuing and uh, should culminate in the painting of our Lusoria, um, the Danubina Alacris, in a year and a quarter. Meanwhile, the tests are being uh, accompanied by repair works uh, of the FAN. And as early as December 2020, that means now, we are, we are able to come up with a mixture, mixture that has a melting point of about 60 degrees, um, which is a success, I think, uh, um, brought up by Markus Speck. If we succeed in bringing both both boats on the Danube, uh, at least at least in sections of our network trip, which both represent the entire river navigation in uh, this one small boat category of uh, petrol boats, as far as we know, imagine um, I would uh, emphasize, imagine uh, two. Uh, 20, um, uh, 25 square meter sails, um, what, what a picture would that be? This will not happen again so soon. I uh, want to make appetite. But the project um, has even more to offer. For two years, because we are working according to Roman craft conditions. We have a blacksmith at hand, Mr. Hörner uh, from Katalsburg nearby, who has been forging uh, Roman tools for us since the beginning of the project. I give a sh short overview. I show this video. And the, on the left, uh, that's me. Yeah. Um, uh, just um, so. Um, this, this is not me again, um, but you can see um, some glances and um, the results. Um, just to give you an overview. Okay, this is not, uh, this is the next. Um, uh, we have already documented a lot about this via social media, so it must be known um, uh, uh, to a certain degree, at least. But this is only one side of the story. Many specific conditions of Roman craftsmanship are not documented, either because they are taken for granted by contemporaries or because they had to be kept se suspicious, suspiciously secret as a valuable valuable uh, research, right? So we still not do not know how craftsmen ship, uh, craftsmen fixed the goods to be treated. Clamps, which we know today to, uh, to fix objects of every kind have not been preserved. Scientific literature is uh, silent. Kellerman um, in his cultural history of screw knows no evidence of a screw for fixing in antiquity. Clamps have to be used though, which in traditional shipping uh, are also documented in uh, illustrations. Uh, this is the illustration. Uh, copied in the construction of Viking clinker ships and then also used by us. Here we, have, uh, here we still have to improve our tools because those kinds of clamps are much easier to be used for clinker ships than for cravail boats, as in our case, where planks uh, were constru constructed without overlap. I could mention other problems like workbench benches. Here um, we have um, a reconstructed uh, um, an example according to the um, uh, according to the attested example, um, but also much more. <clears throat> Crafting methods um, were also shown at our kickoff at um, September the 21st at the Altmühlsee. I'll give you some pictures. Uh, 
Um, which, in addition to uh, the displayed activities, uh, was uh, the kickoff was intended to introduce, introduce to um, boat building. Yeah, I have this example from um, Mark Jelosic. Uh, Measurements. I'm just, uh, I'm only clicking through it uh, because, you know, um, uh, we have document this, uh, documented this and uh, it is already published. So, um, also the, 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 the um, uh, kickoff was uh, intended to introduce to boat building, also to the new building hall and the new home of the boats. Here's, here's the place of the new, uh, will be the place of the new uh, boat. Um, hall and again uh, the shape of the hall. This um, new hall will be at the modern lake, lake Altmilsee near the Gunzenhausen Roman fort. Just activities will continue to take place over the next two years in close cooperation with the German Limes Commission the Bavarian Monument Conservation Society and the uh, Limit Expert uh, Advisory Service of the District of Middle Franconia. We also want to in involve uh, the local population and this is also happening um, with, the, uh, with the founding of a new uh, Roman naval unit which can serve both ships advised by a task force familiar, to, familiar with um, Roman clothing. The response to this has been already great and we may be able to play properly dressed as early as the beginning of the next year. Here are some impressions of our uh, attempts to create a unit. So, returning to the boat. Uh, the important preparatory work at our uh, provisional site is also continuing at full speed. In, uh, in cooperation with Dr. Bokius, Mr. Garlev and Mr. Kronau, our no, new, new boat builder, worked out an optimized line plane. Here you have a glance on um, the line plane and the um, attempts to, to get a, 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 a good shape, which is uh, historically um, attested. Um, this line plane is the basis of the re reconstruction or the construction of the 18 template frames, which are now made of uh, structural timber and thus determine the sh uh, shape of the planks of the boat, which are later replaced by the frames of the stringers. The wooden material is also ready for this now. Since November 9th, we have been cutting down the uh, 75 cubic meters of oak and cut, cutting the crooked wood for transport. This work lasted unt until uh, November 19th with several actions on site. We have also been there with horses, which after lab labor sawing work also moved the trunks uh, in the Roman way. 15 oak tr trunks have uh, now, be laid, now been laid, uh, most of them more than uh, 15 centimeters thick at a height of two meters, I mean the diameter, and up to uh, 20 mon uh, 21 uh, meters long, uh, five to six tons um, heavy, each trunk um, a huge undertaking. In addition, there are um, uh, the 60 Krummhölzer, I mean curved trunks. There, here the, expert, um, the expertise of the boat builder, Mr. Grono, um, um, is called for because, uh, because who can see which crooks with their non-straight grain are uh, suitable for the crooked frames, which therefore um, have greater stability. Also, the trunks are not straight, but slightly curved. The trunks should be branchless as far as possible in, on uh, 21 meters. So to, to emphasize this. 
This action is also not easy to shoulder in terms of price, um, which is not um, easy to, uh, in, to shoulder in terms of price, have now be cut as soon as possible. This means that the trees have to be transported to the fi final place of work uh, in Schlungenhof near, Al near the Altmühlsee. This took place until December 4th. We need uh, our own mobile cutting machine that cuts planks to the length of up to 18 meter, eight, uh, 18 meter point 18. Um, this is not available everywhere in Germany. Last week, we heard that this um, uh, mobile cutting machine was involved in an accident so that we have to wait until January the 18th to cut the trees, unfortunately. But we will also um, um, try to saw the planks and the crooked wood in Roman style. Our blacksmith has currently produced fitting saws according to ancient evidence. Here you have the plants in the middle. When all the oaks and spruces have been latticed, um, we, want to, um, we want them to dry well protected during the winter so that, we, uh, so that we can continue to use them in spring when, as promised, the hall is built. Then, the plank, then plank by plank will be mounted uh, for the Danovina Alacris, frame by frame will be adjusted. This is a hard work, but I promise fun because it is done uh, using Roman methods. The work requires many hands of all ages and all times, at all, at all times. I mean, for the reconstruction of the boat, for painting, for the asso associated, associated activities, that is to say, for the building of the shields and so forth. All actions in the context of the living history aim we have to follow. What this means, albeit on a smaller scale, it is also shown by the activities during the building and testing of the older boat, the FAN, um, which will be published uh, until spring next year. So please feel uh, welcome to join the team uh, and to take actively part in the building process. Interested people uh, please, can please contact me um, at the um, email address uh, and we will find um, an activity for them. So thanks a lot. I, have, uh, I hope uh, I, uh, I gave you uh, um, a proper glance of the activities we have done up to now and the state of play.